welcome back to Constellation Hunters. Tonight we're going to find one of my favorite constellations, Cygnus the Swan. Now the reason it's one of my favorites is because it's marked by a very bright star and it's really easy to find. It also hosts a plethora of galaxies, star clusters, nebulae, and even a black hole. While I could talk about those all night, I'm not going to. Tonight is just about finding the constellation itself. So grab your red flashlight star map, and for those of you sketching with us, your sketching utensils and paper, and let's go. Anchoring Cygnus is the bright star Deneb. The name Deneb actually means tail, and it is found at the tail of a swan. In fact, many of the stars were named after parts of a bird. From Deneb, we can move in a straight line to the star Sadir, meaning chest, of Cygnus, along the swan's neck through Eta Cygni, ending at Alberio, the beak, at the head of Cygnus. The wings then span across the body of the swan, passing through the swan's chest at Sadir. You can easily see why this constellation was seen as a bird in flight. Cygnus is even flying through the band of the Milky Way galaxy in the background. Some of you may also recognize parts of Cygnus as the asterism the Northern Cross. While I did say I wouldn't spend all night talking about the galaxies and star clusters that could be found in this constellation, I do want to point out the star Alberio. It's one of my favorite objects to look at due to its beautiful colors. When you look at Alberio through a telescope, you can see that it is actually two stars. One is orange and the other blue. These beautiful colors are due to the different temperatures of the two stars, the blue one being much hotter than the orange star. We're now two constellations down, one more to go until we've built the summer triangle. Keep observing and sketching, and I'll see you next time for the third and final constellation in this group. Happy stargazing!